Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths and some more basic breadboard because my gum once you start with bread you can't stop. So on the video I made on breadboard thrust vectoring I got a comment or two saying hey did you know that you can do 3D thrust vectoring as in have pitch, yaw and roll all controlled by the same things and I was like what? And thankfully, those very helpful people in the comments told me exactly how to do it, and I figured it out. Uh, and so, now I can share it with you. So, what we have here is a plane of sorts. Have you ever just built, you know, a plane shape? It's fun. Uh, but anyway, this plane is just a wooden prototype, as I like to do. It's got four custom jets, and it's got the fuel for the custom jets. It's got some uh, mainframe, and it's got a breadboard with currently nothing on it. So, how do we get uh, this thing to 3D vector maneuver using just the breadboard and these engines? Well, step one, you gotta name the engine. So, if we turn the UI back on, uh, never mind the flooding, that's probably fine. So, you'll notice that I've named these things. So, these two are named right jet, and these guys are named left jet. You could call them anything uh, but in this case, it's because I want uh, the stuff on the left to be called left, and the stuff on the right to be called right, but jet as well. We'll get to that in a second. So, over here in our breadboard, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to uh, set up the yaw the way we uh, would just for usually uh, doing thrust factoring. So we're going to put in the propulsion right here, and I totally totally don't have a screenshot of this just to uh, ensure that I don't forget how to do this because that would be cheating totally don't do that uh, so we're gonna set this to your right left we're gonna have a multiplier uh, set to a negative value because these are uh, thrusters on the back and so we want them to your properly and then we want a generic block setter over here we want to set that to small jet controller we want to set that to your angle and we want the filter with the name to be Jet. So, now, this thing yours uh, using all the jets. And so, I believe we can test that by doing that. So, you see how the uh, these things are now yawing? So, now, that works. We know that works. That's really good. So, now, pitch and roll are actually controlled via the same thing. So, first off, we're going to go and take our propulsion component. We're going to make two of them up here. We're going to set one uh, to pitch, pitch up and down. We're going to set the other to a roll, right and left. And then we're going to add a sum component. So, that's this thing right here. And, like, goodness knows, looking at that symbol, I had no idea what that meant when I first saw it. But now I do, thankfully. So, I just want to take a moment to mention here that, um... I am not finding it very helpful to look at other people's bread, uh, so to speak. You really do need someone to explain it if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, so it's hard to reverse engineer if you don't have anything to work. So it's better to get in the bread and just start blank and just mess around with these and then learn from here to here rather than from here back over here. That's just what I'm finding because this is the words, this is the symbols, Knowing the words first help. But anyway, so, what we want to do here is we want to put these guys in there. So what that does is that you have pitch input, roll input, they're added together, and that resulting number is what is actually put uh, onto the block itself, which is very convenient. And then we're going to have a multiplier right here, and we're going to have that multiplier be a positive number because we just that's just fine. And then we have the generic block setter. And same thing over here, we're going to go small jet controller, we're going to set a pitch angle, because uh, the uh, roll is also is going to be set by pitch. And we're going to connect this here, and the name we're going to go with uh, for this top one is right, because uh, just the way the this is currently set up, the stuff on the right, the positive values will cause it to... Uh, pitch in a positive way, to pitch right, so to speak. Left is usually negative, unless I'm completely forgetting that. So now we can test that 
by trying to roll. There we go. So there. So if I want to roll this way, it does that. And if I want to roll the other way, it does that. So that's set up quite nicely. And then for the other side, uh, we're doing almost but not quite exactly the same thing. So we want our propulsion component, two of them. We're going to set one to pitch. We're going to set the other to roll. And we're going to have a sum here, but we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to stick a multiply uh, thing in here. We're going to set that to times one. So just to get the roll to a negative number. And the reason for that is that this is going to be control on the left. So we want on the left to control opposite of what the right is doing in order to roll properly. So that is important. That just extra number in there and we connect there and we set that to the number we want. And then we go generic block setter and we set that to the thing we want. And then we set that to the thing we want again. Connect that there. Shuffle this around, and then we set this to left. Now, we should be able to see uh, fun and activities here. So, these things should be pointing in the opposite directions. They are, they are indeedy, which means that this thing should be all ready to go. So, let's see how we do. Thankfully, this thing flies, and in case you're wondering, what the maneuver is set up like. It's a usual aircraft thing I do, which is to pitch to reach the target altitude, which just is very super handy. It means you can use forward thrust to gain altitude. And it is flickering. So, just to show you uh, that the roll is being controlled, I am going to do this. I am going to just stick a bunch of lead on one side. And hopefully that should do the trick and you will see that uh, we're pretty much autocorrected although I suspect that we have a bit of a drag problem right now so you can actually check this to see if the uh, breadboard is controlling the roll you see that the roll input is currently changing so that means that uh, if it's changing back and forth it means that the thing is controlling roll just fine so let's put you over there. Yeah, it's almost like putting lead on your aircraft is a bad idea. Let's just get rid of that for a second. <laughs> there we go. So that's basically it um, uh, for uh, the 3D thrust, thrust vectoring. It's one of those things, it's slightly more complicated than just controlling your own pitch. Uh, but uh, once you realize that you just got to stick an extra number in for the left, then it's all gravy. So I'm just going to uh, leave it on the screen for a little bit. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do to stop those numbers flickering and giving myself a headache. Uh, everyone, like, you can um, take a screenshot of this or whatever you like, really. Uh, just to give yourself an idea. And just once over, uh, let's uh, go over it again. So for the yaw, it's exactly the same as usual thrust vectoring. You've got your propulsion input set to your, you've got your multiplier set to negative number, doesn't have to be 15, but it helps. Then you've got your jet controller set to a name that all your propulsion that you want to control shares. And then to control the right, you have pitch and roll propulsion input. You have the sum of that uh, with a multiplier to actually control the thingy. And then you have uh, the generic block setter set to control the blocks you want to do. And, and to set to do the thing you wanted to do, and with the right name for it. Like, in this case, the right name is right. And pretty much exactly the same thing for the other side, for the thing with the other name. And then uh, you just stick an extra negative uh, one a multiplier in the roll, so it rolls the way you want it to. And then, et voila! you got something like this, and the only reason this can get out of the water, uh, by the way, is because um, uh, it's made of wood, which is very convenient. So, that's basically it for 3D thrust vectoring. This is actually really nice, and uh, by the way, you can just mess with the PID settings if the flickering is uh, driving you nuts. I personally don't mind. I like my craft to look busy, and um, so yeah, that's basically it, and it opens up a world of possibilities, actually, because 
It means that you get wonderful redundancy. This thing can lose half its engines and it can still kind of maneuver. Uh, probably not that well in practice, but it can still hypothetically do it. It means you need pretty much no control surfaces other than your main propulsion. I don't need air elevators, I don't need air rudders, I don't need air alarms or anything like that. Uh, which is great because they're kind of fragile and they're, uh, if, since you have to stick them out on the extremities of your craft, they can be a pain in the butt to armor. So in this case, it means you don't need to bother with that at all. Which is absolutely fan dabby dozy So... That just about does it for this, uh, for this little video. I'm gonna send you on a long trip. So you're not constantly strafing in a circle. So yeah, that's another episode of Basic Bread. So I hope you found this helpful. If you didn't find it helpful, I hope you enjoyed my plane. And if you have bread suggestions, please do share. Uh, because uh, bread is one of those things you kind of learn bit by bit, and by gum, if I get inspired to try a certain bread, I will go off and do it. It might take me a while, but I'll do it. So, thank you all so much for watching! Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps, and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Basic bread. Farewell.